This is about the possible scenarios for Rahul Gandhi. If the High Court stays the conviction against Rahul Gandhi, this will be a big win for Rahul, since this means that his dis disqualification as a member of parliament can be reversed in accordance with the law. Currently, Rahul stands suspended for two plus six years under the Representation of the People's Act. 2013 and 2018 judgments of the Supreme Court in the cases of Lily Thomas and Lok Prahari have said that if stay on conviction is granted by an appellate court, then the disqualification of a legislator can be reversed. But if the High Court does not stay the conviction against Rahul Gandhi, Rahul will have the option of appealing before a larger bench of a two, basically a two judge bench of the Gujarat High Court challenging the single judge's verdict. In the meantime, he will continue to remain disqualified and there will be no change in status quo. We're crossing back over to our legal correspondent, Anan Ananya Bhatnaga, for more on this. Yes, Ananya. Well, you know, uh, the, the possible two scenarios, if at all the conviction is stayed, uh, he, uh, rem uh, remember that he's uh, suspended for two plus six years, he cannot find the 2024 elections and cannot be a member of the parliament for the uh, next two years as well. So what is very, very clear is that if at all the court grants him a stay, his political career could actually get back uh, the speed get back the uh, you know uh, uh, the spark and uh, could start again as he would be uh, revoked as a member of the parliament he would be uh, re um, you know given out the status of a member of parliament back he will have to approach the Lok Sabha speaker for that but if at all that does not happen if at all uh, you know uh, the, uh, the uh, Gujarat High Court single judge bench thinks that you know a stay on the conviction cannot be granted it's not a rarest of the rare case then uh, Rahul Gandhi would have the option to approach a division bench of uh, in fact the Gujarat High Court that is a two judges bench of the Gujarat High Court as, a, uh, as Rahul Gandhi had filed a revision petition before in fact the Gujarat High Court uh, single judge bench and uh, appeal to this lies before a division bench of the Gujarat High Court now if that also does not happen the last and the foremost option that remains to be seen with Rahul Gandhi is uh, to approach the Supreme Court directly. Now, if at all Rahul Gandhi does not take the division bench option and goes back to the Supreme Court, uh, there, there are possible chances that, you know, the Supreme Court would say that since already there is a remedy pending before, uh, in fact, the Gujarat High Court division bench, he should exercise that and the matter could actually be sent back to the Gujarat High Court and uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, uh, uh, you know, uh, will, will be wasting its time. But if at all he approaches the uh, the Gujarat High Court division bench, if at all a stay is not granted in this particular case, that would be the correct remedy possible for Rahul Gandhi. But if at all the conviction is stayed by the Gujarat High Court, the application of Lily Thomas and Lok Prahari judgment of the Supreme Court in uh, you know 2013 and 2018 would apply, and Rahul can be in fact reinstated as a member of the Parliament. So all of this, uh, not only having legal ramification, not only a legal battle itself, but also as Pallavi was also pointing it out, is a big big political battle. Uh, uh, all all eyes on Gujarat High Court single judge bench today, not only of Rahul Gandhi, not only at the Congress party, but also of Purnesh Modi, of BJP and the various opposition parties because this is order is just coming months ahead of, in fact, the 2024 polls and could decide the future of both Congress and Rahul Gandhi in this particular case. Absolutely, Nanya. Thank you for that. Do stay with us. We also want to cross back over to CNN News 18 senior editor Pallavi Ghosh for more. Uh, Pallavi, Pallavi, for our viewers who are just tuning in, uh, could you talk about what this case really is? When did it begin? How did it develop? See, this was actually during a rally which he did in Kolar in Karnataka. And that time he was saying that, uh, you know, why is it that everyone who has a Modi as his surname are corrupt? And he was talking about Nirav of Modi, Lalit Modi and so on and so forth. That clearly didn't go down very well with the BJP and hence that defamation suit against him, which made the point that by targeting the Modi surname, he was actually targeting a particular community, which is the backward community. And despite clarifications coming in from the Congress that this is not what he was doing, he was actually raising the corruption issue. It clearly didn't cut ice and therefore he was disqualified because once you're convicted as per the law, you are then disqualified as a member of parliament. And we saw huge drama. Uh, what began as a political setback for Rahul Gandhi, the Congress party has tried to milk it. So from being disqualified to entering parliament for a brief moment to making a show of him exiting from his residence of over 12 years uh, at 12 to Clerk Lane, all of that became an opportunity which the Congress party seized to make a political point. Uh, even if he doesn't get reinstated as an MP, even if his conviction is not scratched, I don't think they are going to anymore allow this to be seen as a political setback. They're going to continue to milk it. And he's certainly going to be campaigning and making this the point that, you know, every time I ask a question, the BJP doesn't let go of any opportunity to misuse the law to ensure that I am silenced, but I just won't be silent. Do you know what the mood is in the Congress party ahead of the verdict? 
Well, I think it's quite upbeat. And as I said, I mean, it's upbeat because either which way they see it as a win-win situation. I mean, in case his conviction is stayed and he's reinstated, of course, it's a win-win situation. He's going to, there are just two parliament sessions left now, monsoon and winter session before we actually head for the elections. And of course, there's a brief budget session, but that's likely to be only vote on account as usually the procedure is. And he's going to keep on raising the point. But even if he doesn't get reinstated, the next couple of months till the campaigning, it hasn't stopped him from campaigning. It won't stop him from campaigning. He's going to keep on raking this point. I am going to keep on asking the question. I am not scared. And, you know, it's interesting. There's likely to be a Rahul Gandhi press conference today just after the high court verdict comes out. So it'll also be interesting to watch, really, Aisha, what is going to be his responsible, uh, response at the PC. Absolutely, Pallavi. Thank you so much for that. Do stay with us. Uh, we're crossing back over to our legal correspondent, Ananya. Ananya, what precedent really exists for a case like this? Well, you know, precedent has uh, remained that, you know, uh, con in, in conviction, uh, you know, there is a rarest of the rare case when, when convictions are stayed and uh, the court will have to apply its mind completely. And uh, not only the final order would be, you know, a very interesting one or a very important one to see, but the reasonings that the court would be giving, the observation that it would be making uh, would become not only a ground for, you know, the higher court to decide uh, if at all the conviction is not stayed and uh, secondly, if it all the conviction is stayed, then also these observations would uh, remain to be a very, very key one because they would no, not only be discussed in the legal circles, this judgment would not only be discussed in the legal circles, but also uh, the observations made in this particular regard would be uh, a ground for the political debates. It would be a ground for, uh, in fact, politics in the country. So definitely, uh, uh, tones are set for uh, a very, very crucial verdict coming in at uh, by the single judge bench of Justice Amantes Pracharak of, of the Gujarat High court so all eyes on uh, Gujarat High Court at 11 a.m. the order is to be passed remember uh, that Purnesh Modi had constantly argued that you know Rahul Gandhi uh, being a member of the parliament had made certain uh, uh, statements and since he was a member of the parliament his responsibility uh, already is at a higher stake because remember people see him and and uh, he's a public figure he's seen and followed by many people and, and, and his actions could actually deviate people from uh, the law, law and uh, if at all he makes goes on to make such statement that would harm uh, uh, various people so uh, on the other hand of uh, uh, dr singhvi was appearing for rahul gandhi has constantly argued that you know this is not a rarest of the rare case and uh, in fact he should be granted uh, a stay on his conviction because the people of wine are suffering so how much all of this plays up what would be the observations of the court when it comes to uh, the single judge bench order is something that is very very crucial and we'll have to wait and watch for all of this to happen and definitely politics in this matter would definitely continue even after the verdict actually comes in. Aisha. All right, Ananya, thank you so much for giving us those details. We'd also like to thank our senior editor, Pallavi Ghosh, for joining us and giving us those details. We're going to continue to track the developments in the story. Remember, the big development is going to happen closer to 11 a.m. Right now, though, we're going to be shifting focus.